You just don't know until you try it. What do you think? Do you think that's gonna make you like us? All right, today is the big day, guys. It's graduation day for the baby chicks, and it's time to get them outside for good, which is one of the most thankful days for us for homesteading. All right, now it's time. Let's go get some chicks. Don't you want to leave this place? We grow up. This old town is provided all behind. Remember, you and I would always find somewhere to hide. When we were kids, so we could see and hear the water run. The river's gonna crack in the corner. At four weeks old, this is the youngest age we've ever brought chickens outside. Our very first time ever having chickens, it took us to about, I don't know, it might have even been close to 12 weeks, in between 10 to 12 weeks before we first got them outside. That was because we didn't know any better, and we just wanted to protect them, and it was going to be in December, so it was going to be cold. So that was probably a little over the top. The next time around we had chicks, I think we got them around eight weeks before we got them outside. And then any time that we've had meat chickens, we've always got them out in between two to three weeks and then got them outside because we've always had them during the summertime. But this is the earliest that we've ever brought egg laying chickens outside. And we felt comfortable about it because the next five to six days we have 80 degrees to high 80 degrees, even a few 90 degree weather days. So they're going to be able to adjust being outside, dealing with the wind, having some hot heat, and then having the cooler nights. And it's gonna be easier for them to adjust to the temperature starting to slowly drop as we get ready to enter fall time and summer is now whittling away here. They seem to be doing really well out here. They've been moving around a lot. They've been really eating at the grass every time I'm looking out here. It is so nice to see chicks on the fresh grass. This is only their second time outside. We were only able to get them outside one time before this, which I do recommend that you try to get your chicks outside a few times before leaving them outside. I wish we would have done it a little bit more, but they seem to be enjoying it, and I'm gonna let them be, but I did wanna show you. This right here is actually a piece to our rabbit hutch that we do not use for the tray underneath anymore, and I feel like it's a little skinny for these bars, but right now their feet are smaller, but this will be really nice as like a little roosting bar in here for them because I didn't have one set in place yet. So we'll come out later tonight and see if they're gonna use it. Surprisingly, a lot of our adult chickens here hasn't been next to the tractor and checking out these chicks as much as I thought they might. But we thought before we introduce them to the flock, this might help just kind of get them acquainted, get them used to seeing each other, hearing each other, and maybe that might make it easier when we bring them together. It looks like Snowflake's checking them out right now. Are you checking them out, too, Alfredo? So we'll see if this works. I'm not sure. But right now it looks like Snowflake's been doing a full 360 walking around, and I hope it means it's going to help, but you just don't know until you try it. Before we go back and check on the chicks, though, we are going to cut into one of our watermelons right here. As you can see, our watermelon plant is dying out, so that means these are as ready as they're going to be. And we have never successfully grew a watermelon that we can eat yet. We just had one chicken break out and peck at one of the small watermelons as it was growing, showing you our pains at this, but let's get it and let's cut into it and see if we have a good watermelon or a bad one. I'm a little nervous, but here we go. The watermelon was just a little more pink than we would like, more than like that nice bright red, but it still does taste good. It's like almost there. If anybody has any tips like were we supposed to let it stay there a little longer or did we harvest it too late, we just want to get that really good red watermelon and this just isn't it, but it's close. I know that some of you guys might be big watermelon seed fans, but I am not a fan of seed watermelon. There's a whole bunch in here. I figured I'll feed them back to the chickens and at least they'll enjoy them.
and kind enough to cut them off some little pieces for them to enjoy too. Alright guys, it's getting late. First, I left this big door open of this chicken coop so it can air out a little bit. So let's close that and tell the big chickens good night. Good night everyone. And I wanted to see if the little chicks were going to be on the roosting bar or not that we put in there. It looks like that answer was no and they just got scared because I came by. But every time we've ever brought chicks out for the first night and I come out to see what's going on, they always seem to jam to a corner and just huddle up. Probably because they're a little scared. It's their first night ever being outside. You can hear them making a lot of noise right now. It's definitely not too cold for them. It's still like 70 degrees right now at night. So these four week chicks with all the feathers that they have are gonna be just fine. We'll check up on them and see how they're doing in the morning. All right, it's the next morning, but before we go check on the chicks, Let's make sure the pigs are nice and fed because they will squeal all morning when they see us out here until they get their morning feed. So let's get them first. Those pigs are getting big guys. They're getting close. We are gonna unfortunately have to say goodbye to them around November, but I don't really wanna talk about the sad things. Let's go see how the baby chicks did for their first night. Well, good news. We have all 13 chicks in here, so they at least survived their first night outside. I'm happy to see that they're all doing good, but last night we did go through all the rest of their feed, and looking at their container, it looks like we need more, so I gotta make a quick stop at the store real quick and get some more feed for them. A lot of you guys always ask us what kind of feed we give our chickens or our chicks. For our chicks, we like this. It's called Chick House Reserve. And we just get it because we love that there's real pieces of food in there that you can see. And that's about it. It's not organic or anything like that, but it just looks like real food, which we appreciate to give to our chicks. And no, they're not a sponsor. We just enjoy giving them this food and they enjoy eating it. As I was showing you guys in previous vlogs, these chickens have been more afraid of us than any other little batch of chicks that we've had before. So we are making sure that they get used to our hands, used to us, because we don't want them to be that afraid of us. So we're making it a goal, especially to get one really nice rooster out of this batch. And hopefully a little bit of extra time hanging out with the chicks is gonna help. What do you think? Do you think that's gonna make you like us? I don't know if that was a yes. Really All right, well there it is, another successful transfer of getting, oh, I missed the lock, I was trying to be cool and not look. There we go. Another complete transfer of getting the chicks out, successful, they're happy out here. We have nice weather here for the next few days for them. And no more chick smell coming from inside the house in the brooder. We love that. Have a great day and a better tomorrow, and we'll see you guys in the next one. What are they naming these people? Nothing. I just made it for one.